Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and this one's awesome. It's with Tyler Harp from Harp Barbecue. He is opening a brick and mortar at the end of October, early November. It'll be open Wednesday through Saturday. That's all I'm going to give you. The rest will come from Tyler. Thanks so much. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? I'm great, Kevin. Really excited. How have you been? I, I'm in, I've been well. I, I've As soon as I got the, the message from you, I'm like, ah, oh, this is such a great thing because we've been kind of documenting this path and this is the direction you want to go but this is this is big big news so let's let's talk about what's happening so how did this come about and well we've been at the brewery since march of 2019 crane brewing in raytown and it's been a really great start for us and a good way to get our business off the ground and kind of get our food to people that are looking for a, a higher end product with the quality or the craft yeah. beer um and so it's really worked well with that. We're kind of in this industrial area down here that's it's changing daily, but it's pretty cool. I really like it, but there's not a road. Um, you kind of you're not going to drive by where we are now. Um, okay, like you'd, said, you'd have to find fi if you were just going to find you, you'd have to find you. You mean? Yeah, exactly. So it's just one of those things that um, you know. Basically, when you come here, you leave your house knowing you're coming here. So gotcha. Um, and re recently, the within the last year specifically as you asked um they have finished this rock island trail here that goes through um it's literally just uh 25 feet from where i'm sitting so it brings a lot of cyclists a lot of walkers and it connects through lee summit which is the next suburb south of here and it goes well this whole trail is eventually going to go all the way down to katie texas once they get it all connected wait uh, wait, wait 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 really yeah yeah it's crazy so <laughs> Um, it, right now, it's uh, as soon as it makes the next connection, I believe it goes to St. Louis, um, and this so is... it goes. Yeah, it goes to the stadium. So the stadiums are only about two miles on the trail from where we are. So you know, Royal season, Chief season, right now, it's a big thing. And so yeah, we're kind of in this industrial park down here. We got this trail in front of us. It's really been working out, helping our business be a big benefit to us. and So people will a, see you and then know that you exist and then... I yeah, don't yeah. so the trail's about 25 feet from where I'm sitting and then about uh, 150 feet from where I'm sitting, you have Raytown Road and the trail and Raytown Road run parallel with each other and our restaurant will actually be sandwiched in between the two, the trail and the road. So okay. Raytown, Raytown Road, uh, it's the main road in Raytown, a lot of, lot of traffic on it. And so with the combination of being, uh, you know, just having visibility and being in a spot with high traffic and then still being able to... Um, you know, feed our customers that we do now, our guests on that come from the trails. So it was kind of just a great marriage. There was a, a taco truck down here that used to do stuff at the brewery, and she opened a restaurant in that space, and I had no clue that it was even a restaurant space. Oh, wow. It doesn't really look like it from the outside, but it was. And as soon as she got it, I was like, man, I don't know why I didn't know about this space. And uh, she'd been there about six or seven months, and she just really liked her food truck better. Um, the, the restaurant thing wasn't for her. She was doing really well. I think she was just so busy. She didn't understand how much you know busier she was going to be. Um, so it actually, um, she wanted to go back to her food truck, and, and the spot was ready, and it was in a great location. Um, it's about 3,000 square feet. There's lots of parking, so it's a good size space. Yeah, we're just super excited. I'm super excited, and we're going to, um, transition it from a Mexican restaurant to a barbecue restaurant. So that's what we're in the process of doing now. How often does that happen that someone transitions to a restaurant and it is is so successful that they want to go back to their food truck? That's just a, a very interesting, unique situation. But that's yeah. it's so serendipitous for you. Yeah, it works out well for us. And like I said, it, it, it's it's a it's a really good location and you know a big part we we we've built a lot of customers and had a lot of loyal customers uh, here in Raytown. And so to be able to stay, continue to feed those people and, you know, to call it what it is, um, you know, Raytown's a blue collar community and, you know, we consider ourselves blue collar barbecue. So it's just, it's a great match for where we're supposed to be. Is Raytown, are there homes or are there apartments? Is are people living in Raytown too? So I don't know Raytown. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Raytown is a city. It's about 35,000 people just borders the Southeast side okay. of Kansas city. All right. So it, it's, 
It's the smallest suburb. It's a very, very tiny city. Like I said, it's not even okay. thirty five thousand people. So yeah, yeah. For being a suburb of a major city, it's it's pretty small. Um, but yeah, there's a good sized community here, and then we're kind of sandwiched between Lee Summit, which is the next city south of here. That's about a hundred thousand people, and then Independence, where I'm from, is the city north of here. It's about one hundred twenty thousand people. So sandwiched between two great cities as well, right next to Kansas yeah. City. Uh, yeah, it, it's. You know, I kind of thought for a while I'd back myself into a corner logistically with our business because we needed so much. We needed so much square footage. We needed so much parking. Um, I've got three smokers now offset, so we needed a lot of room for the yeah, smokers. Yeah, that was a question I was going to ask you. How's yeah. That? Yeah. So, you know, really with all that I needed and where our brand was at, where the business was at for it to logistically work, I really was like having some days I wasn't sure I was going to be able to afford myself with the business actually needed. And so, you know, it's just like running a business is a roller coaster anyway. Right. And so you go through those ups and downs, but yeah, there was really a long time where I just felt like, man, I've packed myself in the corner because my business needs so much. It's unaffordable. But yeah, to find this space in Raytown and make it all work and make it affordable. And, and for me, you know, our business model has just been to grow slow and kind of just buy stuff as we go. And, um, it's cool to be nearing the, the finish line of having our restaurant open. So we're yeah. super excited. I'm so I uh, congrats on that. Like having a brick and mortar, that's a big deal. And I've I, I've always wanted to like when we've hung out here in Los Angeles in like we said a, a lifetime ago, it feels like. But I've I've never I haven't had a chance to visit you in Kansas City. And yeah. in my mind I was imagining that Raytown, because you said it's industrial, you're in an industrial portion of more industrial portion of Raytown is so yeah. you're open right now Fridays and Saturdays right so are you mm -hmm. going to what's your plan for and what's how long will this transition take because it I thought I'd read November, um, maybe. yeah we're looking to be here through October and then um, either the last weekend of October or the first week of November go over there um, it, obviously there's hurdles to uh to to cross that we have to make sure to do and some of those can take a little time but we don't have anything major so that's good um, and we're really, really close. Um, I was able to purchase a lot of equipment, a lot of the tables from the lady that was there previously. Oh, cool. Um, so right now I've already got, I think I've got 64 seats in there currently already. So I have to buy a little more seating, but we've got a pretty significant amount. Um, I bought all of our kitchen equipment. So the stuff we hadn't yet bought is already over there in the restaurant. You know, it's nice not to have to do a full build out. And so since um, we don't have to, the place has got to walk in and we don't have to do a full conversion. We're just converting from Mexican restaurant to barbecue. It saved us some money and uh, allowed us to have a little bit of a higher budget for artwork. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, that's uh, cool. Just to be able to, yeah. Uh, we're going to have a lot of really cool artwork in there in the walls. And uh, yeah, it's wild to see it all come true. And, and it almost every day, it seems like it's getting closer to being better than I ever could have envisioned. So. Wow. So do you plan wow. do you plan on being open more than Friday, Saturday, like three yeah, days a week? For sure. Yeah, we're going to be open Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. And we're going to be open 11 until we sell out, which we're hoping to make it to about five or six o'clock every day. And then that'll leave us, you know, there may be times when we do special brunches, uh, special collaborations, different events with different people. So I think leaving that Sunday open will allow us to have a lot of fun if we want to have people come in from out of town to do something or someone local come and, and do something with them. So I think it gives us a lot of flexibility to, oh, to yeah. do something different for Raytown in addition to the barbecue. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, you were just, you just visited a uh, hoodoo Brown. <laughs> like, yeah, man. I, you know, I got to work with those guys at Windy city uh, smoke out last year. And, uh, you know, that is the hoodoo Brown logo right there. On my yeah, there you go. Cover. I was going to say it looked yeah. like it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They were one of my biggest inspirations getting started and, you know, what's funny is, is I had a bucket list of about 100 places I wanted to go when I very first started barbecue. And I've been to, obviously, you know, somewhere between three and 400 places now, but I hadn't completed that original bucket list. And so Hoodoo Brown was the last stop on the original 100 that I wrote down that I wanted to go to. So, oh, that's so it weird. was it was important to me to get to Hoodoo before we opened. And I'm so glad I did because one of the projects we're taking on in my restaurant that I was kind of like wondering like how it would work or how it would come out. Cody did at Hoodoo and it looks great. And it made me feel so much better about moving forward with it. Cause I thought it was kind of a risky idea. Uh, but it's just something with the ceilings that Cody did. He painted the ceilings black and I was thinking I'm going to do that too. And I don't know how it would look. And then 
it, it looked great in his That's place cool. and it made me super excited. So just little things like that. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. You know, the last handful of years that I've watched a lot of my best friends in this business open a restaurant, you know, I've been at Danny's grand opening and, uh, heritage and, and their anniversary parties. And so I've got to see what they've done and then, you know, Moose Craft open. Some of my best friends, they got yeah. to open a brick and mortar and then and then Blake, right? So yeah. seeing Blake would do it too and talking to Blake about once a week and uh, seeing him do it. And then I know Trevor from Bricks Barbecue in Fort Worth. He's one of my best friends. He's getting Such really close too. And it kind of seemed like uh, everyone around me it was going for. And, you know, there's just so many logistics and so much that go into it. People don't realize that. You know, you just wonder, like, man, is it going to come together? Is it going to come together? And you're seeing all your friends do it, and uh, it finally did. So super excited. Well, thankfully, you have that group of people and all those people. And they're all fabulous people. They're people that you can contact for questions. Yeah. And, you, and you have a group that's even beyond that, man, it's, which is so nice. Yeah. It's so helpful. I, that's I can't huge. even – it's hard to describe how fortunate I've been, how fortunate – barbecue has treated me and I, I always try to give it you know everything I got because barbecue has given me everything it can and um, so many great people and even people you may not necessarily know as well as others but people you've ran across or have a mutual contact in and you know yeah there's just so many the Rolodex is so full I'm I'm certain that over well over half of my contacts and my phone are barbecue people now. So yeah, I know it's like somebody. It's like, I'll I'll mention someone to someone, and they're like, they're a barbecue person, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's. It. But yeah. that's not who they are. They're they're great people, and you're also you're a fan of barbecue. You're a fan of the people, and like so that's like it, that's what something that comes through is that not only are these people great friends, but also you're a fan of what like what they're doing, and it's like what what is that the. the uh, that rising think, tide lifts all boats. Yeah. Rising tide lifts all boats. Yes, and that's the yeah. that seems like the you know that's the way you've always been. You've always been so gracious too with me. It's like it's great. It's wonderful. Yeah, we just want to have fun and be with good people and deal with good people, and that's really our only parameters for doing business with you. So uh, we love all the people and everybody that's you know good to us. We're good to them, and yeah, I've just been so fortunate for how many good people have come across you know our path. I mean, hundreds. So you know. We're going to pay homage to a lot of those people in our restaurant. I've got some really cool, I think, unique ideas and ways to do that that we're going to be able to do. And uh, I think we've got a pretty good idea for a pretty unique space. I haven't seen a lot of spaces that are going to be what we're hoping to achieve. But I, I think it's just going to be. That's exciting. The, the way the restaurant's laid out, it's, a, it's allowed us some really different opportunities to do different things that would be hard to do in an open dining room so it's it's really cool i'm excited about it and so have you have you been setting anything up yet or is it still the mexican restaurant yeah uh it's still the mexican restaurant so monday morning uh we're doing the ceilings um those are getting redone okay. and those they're telling me tuesday that'll be done and we'll be moving on the walls to painting so oh, cool. once the ceiling's done once the walls are done once um, we get those things and we'll really be rolling. It's just going to be some more cosmetic stuff. We got to expand the bathroom, make it bigger, but nothing, nothing crazy. So, yeah. and for, and for people that haven't visited your location there at the brewery, mm -hmm. it'll be, it'll be like, can you explain how, how they order and how, because I think people, some people maybe have never had that experience before in their life. Yeah. So we're set up in the back of crane brewing company. They have a pretty big, gravel parking lot out here like i said that sits right off the trail so not only a lot of vehicles but a lot of bicycles a lot of people walking as well and you walk into the brewery and the tap room and the tap room probably has space for about 50 people or so and then you kind of walk in back to where they brew the beer and you go through the actual brewery itself to get where we are which is back in the barrel room so the barrel room it's about a 3,000 square foot area they host private parties um there's projectors tables you know tvs all that good stuff and then that's back where we are so the line will come through the barrel room out to the brewery out to the tap room door and if it's really wild up the street so uh you know this is a huge brewery we're in i think it's about ten thousand square feet give or take. for the brick and mortar are you you'll have the same kind of lineup like people there's people that haven't even ever been to a, a texas style barbecue joint so yeah it'll, it'll be it'll be similar right yeah so we've actually 
like I was talking about with the, the way it split up, we're actually going to have quite a bit of room inside for a line. So okay. I'm thinking um, the way we're planning on maneuvering it, if we can successfully do it, we should have basically a winding maze almost, okay. for lack of a better term. Like a snake, of a line. A serpentine, a serpentine. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we're looking to hopefully have about where we can have a 50 person line oh, indoors. Nice. Uh, yeah, so like I said, the way the space is laid out, it's pretty unique. And then, I don't know, hopefully we won't have to go like full-on Cadillac mode where it's like wrapping around. I mean, I love that place, you know, it's a cool situation to be in, but it wraps all the way through the dining room and, and outside back. and around the building. Yeah, but, you know, when you cook food as good as they do, that's what's bound to happen, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so so you'll you'll play it by ear for that. They'll make you'll make sure, and it's you know what the weather's like in Kansas City, so you'll yeah. It'll, it'll, and it, and I guess too, like we don't know. It's this is for a conversation maybe in a few months. Is you don't know how quickly you'll sell out, how long the lines will be. You don't know any of that yet. So, but you are going it's to be going to be busy. Yeah, it'll <laughs> it's be busy, be really busy. And what's really cool is the strip mall we're in is a very uh, diverse strip mall. There's five businesses in, in it, and three of the other four businesses are minority owned. And so we've been able to really reach a lot of different backgrounds of people, even just being up there working, hanging out, networking with people from all different backgrounds. So that's the cool thing about Raytown okay. is I really think we're going to be able to reach a bigger demographic than we even have already been at the brewery. And then can you go over really quick what you're planning on doing for the menu? And I know I read somewhere too, that you had said you'll probably up the menu probably a little bit too like you have special yeah, yeah. it's not going to get crazy you know we've um found a lot of success in the way we've done it and so we're going to continue to do it that way we'll add stuff we have a full kitchen now so we're going to change the way we do things to hopefully improve them but i know one thing that's going to be a hard adjustment for people here in kansas city is not having french fries so um it's a big deal everywhere we're not going to do it simply because we're high volume and we're trying to move people through as quickly as we can to make their experience as best as we can mm -hmm. and um, a lot of these barbecue restaurants you go to around the city um, if you pay attention to when you get backed up you're always waiting on french fries it's mm -hmm. always french fries french fries french fries so for that reason, um, and also we just think we can make really good other sides that are um, hopefully going to provide yeah. a better experience than just eating french fries. So um, we have a really good tater tot casserole we do. So we're excited um, to, to introduce that to more people. And, um, you know, we're going to be opening here in the next 30 to 60 days at some point, and it'll be winter or close to winter. So embrace the chili and the casseroles and all the good things of that winter has to bring as well. Yeah, yeah, no, that's and that's. I have to. I even talked to someone. I think in Florida, and they're saying that someone walked in and said, "Do you have French fries?" And they said no, and then they walked out. So they like that's. Yeah, I mean, a weird no, I get it. People, people want it, and especially here, a lot of it's connected to you know the nostalgia of eating barbecue, and that is true. And but that's not yeah. that's not what you're serving. You're not serving that. Yeah, type of yeah, barbecue. yeah, yeah, exactly. And like I said, if we could. And I'm never opposed to evolving in any direction. So maybe one day, but yeah. starting out, we're definitely not going to do fries. And our goal is to uh, enhance the guest experience, get them through as quick as we can, but give them the best food we can make as well. You could have a French fry truck someday, a special barbecue yeah, French fry. And we, maybe we can put one in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, just a, a giant, fr idea. giant fry yeah. truck. Um, Brian just... barbecue sauce truck. <laughs> yeah. It would do yeah, great yeah. out there. <laughs> it would do amazing. Watch, that's like yeah. the big, that's the big idea out of this. I was going to say, just go over your protein. Yeah, so right now our menu is the proteins will be the same when we move as far as we may switch them on like a daily special or a daily rotator. But uh, so obviously brisket, ribs, sausage, uh, pork and turkey are the five proteins. Um, and then really just with the craziness that's still going on, turkey may possibly be going away soon, unfortunately. <sighs> Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, but uh, it's we've had some close calls recently with it, and it doesn't seem to be getting better. Doesn't look like Thanksgiving's gonna help either. So no, not at all. Um, yeah, turkey might be rough. Um, so if that's the case, then um, hopefully we'll switch back to the pork belly. We'll be doing probably half chickens. I'm thinking. So yeah, those that's gonna be the the sausage will rotate. We're gonna have our house sausage with just a garlic, uh, fresh garlic and black pepper. 
Okay. And then we'll all, we'll have a rotating one as well. So we'll have two different sausages. Uh, our jalapeno cheddar is one of the most popular, and our blueberry shark white cheddar as well. So those are the two that sell the most. But we like to get creative and have fun, and um, that's the fun part of building the team yeah. up right now is trying to get creative minded people that are excited to do stuff. It's, it's going to be a blast. I just I can't wait. And talking to Blake every day, you know, I know. Blake is uh, in the weeds up to his eyeballs. They're so busy, but uh, it, it's fun just to just to see what he's doing every day. I love. Oh it. yeah, yeah. No, that's and like his his building and his team. Like it just seems so. It's it's pretty spectacular what he built. Like that's really crazy. And I, I'm I'm super yeah. excited. I I haven't even seen. Have you posted any photos at all of the new location? Uh, you know, I was kind of planning on doing like a. I know when Heritage opened, Danny was basically posting progress every day so people could see how it was going. And I had planned to do something like that. And I don't think I really realized how awesome the restaurant's going to be until recently. And so I think we're going to hold off and cool. just let yeah. people just let people come and soak it in and, and see what they think, you know? I think that's great. I thought, cause there's, yeah. there's a lot of or- oversharing in social media in general. Like people know too much. So it's kind of fun to have a little mystery, I think. Yeah, exactly. And just like I said, I think people are going to be really happy with the space and uh, I'm super confident in it. So I just want them to come and just hopefully be as excited as we are. And, and I just can't wait for it to smell like briskets in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely. Are you going to build a smokehouse or like a, like a, a uh, yeah, we, we may eventually, we're going to start off with our trailers and closed. Um, we're going to park our trailers behind the building. Okay. Um, luckily there's, we had enough room for our trailers legally to be back there by less than one foot. Wow. So yeah, they had to be, they had to be 10 foot off the building and 24 feet off of the back curb. So a fire truck can pass through. And so that left us with like, it was like 16 and a half feet or something like that. And our two, our trailers are eight foot wide. So it was, oh gosh, it's so close. Yeah. It it was insane. (laughs) Yeah. And they, and, and actually where the, they'll have to be long ways so they fit in that window but where they're going to go long ways they're actually going to go behind the neighbor's door unfortunately they've been pretty gracious and said that they don't mind but uh yeah so i mean it 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 barely worked out but thankfully it did it meant to be it meant to be for sure well cool that's awesome so let's is there anything is there what's the address you know the physical address yeah, uh, 6633 Raytown Road. So okay. as the crow flies, we're only going about 200 yards. Um, if you're driving, it's like, I think the GPS says it's like a mile because you have to go around. Like I said, we're in this industrial district, so you have to loop out of here to get back to the road. So driving, it says it's like a mile, but we're only moving a couple okay. hundred yards. Okay, I'll put I'll put a, um, a map on so for people to make just to make it a little bit easier. What's the social in the social media? What's all the different ways that people can follow you? Yeah, uh, just Instagram, Heart Barbecue, uh, Facebook, the same. Email Tyler at heartbarbecue.com. We're going to be hopefully booking more um, corporate office party stuff on okay. our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday shifts and, and doing more of that type of stuff. Nice. And then it's so it's not Harper Barbecue like people probably. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I think every day I get tagged in Harper and I'm sure he probably gets tagged yeah. in mine a lot too. And, uh, well, like I said, I have two of my pits are Harpers, so it doesn't hurt. No, I do. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, great yeah. guys. Love, love and, the work. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I've done the same. I've tagged. I've accidentally tagged like, vice yeah. versa. And then I've done the same thing with hometown and home team. With uh, yeah, yeah, I've done that. Like Billy, one time was like, uh, I'm not. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So this is this is I'm, this is so great. I want to make it quick, but it's obviously it's just nice yeah. to catch up with you and we we can talk for yeah, another hour. But it's that's yeah that's well let's reconnect in a couple months or maybe after the holiday sometime so that way I'd I'd like to reconnect once you've opened so people we can give a little bit more maybe ten more minutes about what it's like because it'll be a little different but it'll also be open so you'll at least be able to give yeah. some news about that once you have a slow day if you have any slow days yeah. coming up but well, we uh, can do a we can do a Monday or something too okay so. cool well All have right. a great day this is so great and uh, thanks Kevin. All right. Good to see you. Good so good to see you. you too. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.